Hi, this is Exploring with Emma and Stu. I'm Em. And I'm Stu. And today we've come to Alsford to have a look at St Mary's Church. Uh, you may recognise this one from our Almost Haunted video that we did a couple of years ago. But today we've returned to take a proper explore and share with you some of the history. Yeah, and you can find the uh, Almost Haunted video at the end of this video. Yeah, we'll put a little link in it for you if you right. want to check that out as well. Cool. Right, let's go. Situated in an isolated position overlooking the Cone River estuary is the now ruined church of St Peter's. The earliest church was built here during the 12th century and would have consisted of a simple nave and chancel. It was constructed using Kentish ragstone, flint rubble as well as reused Roman bricks and tiles. Like most medieval churches, it was enlarged during the 13th century. However, most of the work from this period was demolished, but evidence of it can still be found in the north walls. In the early 14th century, the church was rebuilt and the nave and chancel were further enlarged, with buttresses added, plus new windows and doorways. The church then remained mainly unaltered up until the 19th century, when during the Victorian period, it was again substantially altered with the addition of the South Isle, built using masonry taken from the demolition of the 14th century South Wall, and a porch was added to the Northern Wall, as well as new windows and doors again. Despite being given Grade 2 listing in 1966, the church now sits in ruins, having suffered a mysterious fire during 1971, which caused the roof and belfry to collapse. The decision was made not to rebuild it due to it being situated quite some distance from the village, as it had originally been built more for the convenience of a nearby manor rather than the villagers at the time. But that's not where the story ends, for the church has long been associated with white witches and some say has been the location for many rituals over the years. Rumour has it this could even be connected to the devastating fire which no actual cause was ever found. Although just hearsay, it is likely the truth will never be discovered. Today, the lonely little ruin sits open to the skies and has a sense of peacefulness and tranquility. Its churchyard is still occasionally in use and the area enjoyed by many visitors. Okay, so that was St Mary's Church here in Alsford. And as from Exploring Vemmers Jew, we really hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you again next Friday. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.